special function buttons. Opening options this view from the options menu. Much of Spartan's functionality is controlled by special function buttons. These appear over the quips depending on the quips context. In options this view, you choose which buttons you would like to see in each of your views. There are eight fixed function buttons and three customizable. Form filling buttons. When this option is checked, a form filling button appears over all text quips. When you click a form filling button, three things happen. Any text already in the target field is cleared, the quip is pasted in and the cursor is tabbed automatically to the next field. If you use form filling buttons from a small on top window, you can fill forms with a single click per field. Clearing the field is optional. The tab key can be replaced by the enter or by the right or down arrows. You can also follow the quip by another quip or script. To do this, you need to enter the quip identifier of the quip to use here. The identifier you need is shown in the quip preview window when you move the mouse over the quip you want. Internet bookmark buttons. If you have elected to display internet bookmark buttons, then any time you capture a quip which is an internet address, moving the mouse over it will display a net button and clicking that button will take you to the internet page. Email buttons. If email buttons are selected, an EML button appears over any quip which is an email address and clicking that button opens your email program with that address on the to line. Run and open buttons. If you elect to have run and open buttons in a view, they will appear over any quip which is a file, a folder or a program. The run button opens the program And the open button opens the folder. Or file. Uppercase and lowercase buttons. If you select uppercase and lowercase buttons for a view, UC and LC buttons appear over all text clips. Clicking on the quip name pastes the quip as is. Clicking on the UC button pastes the quip in uppercase. And clicking on the LC button pastes the quip in lowercase. DOS buttons. If you have selected DOS buttons, you can use them to paste from Windows programs into old pre-Windows DOS programs. Unformatted text buttons. If you select unformatted text buttons, a TXT button appears over all text quips. Clicking the quip name pastes the quip with formatting. Clicking the TXT button 
pastes it without. If you click the TXD button options button, removing font size and color data is standard, but you can also set it to perform any number of these tasks. Multiple buttons. If you create a clip like this, which has a phone number, a web address and an email address, all three buttons appear. And if you ever find you have so many buttons they are covering up the clip, you can switch between the full size buttons and single character buttons by right clicking on them. That leaves the three red, green and blue customizable buttons. To allocate tasks to the custom buttons, drop down the paste menu. The red button is currently set to paste and move to the next line. The green button is set to paste and insert a tab and the blue button is set to paste and add a space. You can change these as you wish. Once tasks have been allocated, return to options at this view, where you can decide which custom buttons you want in each view. Note how the allocations for each of the custom buttons show in the help area when you move the mouse over the button. The display of all buttons in Spartan is subject to a global override from the view menu. Buttons off. Buttons on. In this example, the red custom button is set to paste and move to the next cell across and the green custom button is set to paste and move to the next cell down. If I paste with the red button, I paste to cells across my spreadsheet and if I paste with the green button, I paste to cells down my spreadsheet.